vacuum filling fountain pens are cool. They give you a big ink capacity and are super fun to fill. However, if you forget one simple thing, they will stop writing completely. So we're going to talk about that. Greetings. My name is Drew. You are you. And today we're here at the Goulet Pen Company to unravel the mysteries of vac fillers. So what's a vac filler? Simply put, it is a fountain pen filling mechanism right there. It consists of a knob that you unscrew, a rod that you pull up, and attached to the rod is a rubber gasket that is sealed tight against the inner walls here. However, down here at the bottom, you can see that the inner walls flare out a bit. So when you insert this pen into ink, there is a vacuum that is created by pushing the rod down. Pressure builds, 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 and then once it passes, that point you get a satisfying click and negative pressure is created and then whoosh, ink is filled up into the ink reservoir so cool uh, you want to do it a few times to get a really good fill so here's the not so secret thing about vac filling pens when you tighten the knob all the way keep an eye on this watch what happens the gasket seals this part of the pen from this part of the pen, meaning all of the ink here cannot get here. So there's still ink here and you can write a couple pages with it, but eventually it's going to dry out and you're not going to have any ink at all until you open it back up. And at that point, ink can flow unobstructed from the barrel to the feed and thus the nib. So I could keep it unscrewed like this and I could write forever, but, uh, or I could once enough ink has moved from the main reservoir to the feed and grip section, I could tighten it back down and be good for another few pages. So why do they do this? Mainly to defend against any sort of funky pressure changes usually due to a change in altitude. It could cause, you know, ink to go where it's not supposed to go. But if you have it sealed off like this, you minimize that risk. This applies to both the Twisby VAC 700 that I have here, as well as any other vacuum filling pens, such as the Pilot Custom 823 and any pen with Visconti's power filler. That's pretty much it. If you'd like to see some more details, you can check out some of the other videos we've done about this or check out the product links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions for me and please do visit us over at goulaypens.com. Right on.